Hi guys, this is Andrew Nub, and these are the best games of the week. First up we have Eternity Warriors 3, a 3D RPG published by Glue. This is a really cool game. When you start off there's three different classes, Warrior, Monk, and Mage. The graphics in this game is really good and it has action combat, there's a joystick to move and a button to attack, there's lots of skills, and the game plays very fluidly. The animations are good, and killing monsters is fun, there's a lot of different quests and missions, and lots of different maps. You can see other players and talk to them in this main square. I'm not sure if you can party with other people, but maybe you can, I'm not sure. And considering this game is published by Glue, I'm guessing there's a lot of in-app purchases, but it's still a really cool game. Next up we have Galactic Fantasy Prelude. A 3D space RPG published by Moonfish Software Limited. This game is very similar to Galaxy on Fire 2. The game is fully voice acted which is great. Tons of voice acting and the game has a story that features interesting characters. You play an orphan that becomes a space pirate hoping to find his parents. Combat's pretty cool, you move from the joystick to aim and shoot with a button. I like that the story kind of guides you through the game. Damn it! The Sphinx frigate's coming up. They found us. Get ready for a fight! The graphics look really nice and it also runs really smooth. It's completely free and really worth checking out. Next up is Magic Rampage, a 2D side-scrolling RPG published by Asante. So this is a pretty cool side-scrolling RPG. There's a lot of different levels to go through. There's equipment and stuff to get. You can find and equip new weapons and armor. It's kind of like a platformer, so, you, so there's various puzzles to go through as well as killing enemies and leveling up. The artwork is pretty good, and the gameplay is fairly smooth. Next we have Bolland's Resurrection, a 3D physics puzzle game published by Bolland. In this game you control a ball, there's touch controls as well as tilting your device. The game is very smooth and has realistic physics. Basically you guide your ball around as you navigate through a puzzle based obstacle course where there's these orbs to collect and various puzzles to go through. The graphics are really nice in this game, really amazing. You can fully turn your camera around, the game just looks gorgeous. Next up we have Loot Hero, a 2D side scrolling casual RPG published by Varag TP. This is actually a very simple game where you hold the right side of the screen to move your character forward and hold the left side to move back. Basically you attack enemies just by running into them. So you just keep moving ahead and killing enemies. There's these buildings where you can upgrade your attack, critical chance, defense, and speed. The game isn't that long, there's only 5 levels. After you complete the levels, you just kinda go through them all over again except with increased difficulty. Last up we have Shooting Pan, a 3D survival game published by Wise Bunny. First off this game has a lot of different characters, but you have to unlock them and most of them re actually require cash. The gameplay is very simple, you just want to survive. You move with a joystick and your character automatically attacks enemies nearby. As you level up you get new skills, which you can use to decimate your enemies. This is a fairly casual game, although there are like RPG elements. The graphics are quite good and is a cool game to check out. Anyway that's all for this week, make sure you guys subscribe for new videos and thanks for watching.